Today, it could be said there exists in the modern world a form of bigotry, which is no less insidious than racial or gender discrimination. This comes in the form of economics at its core. This bigotry is apparent in the class war alive today, as different groups of people jockey for advantage, perfectly willing to forego the well-being of others in the incentive psychology inherent to the competitive market economy. Uh, from the need to compete against our fellow classmates in schools for grades uh, is essentially inevitable in the labor force uh, for the need to compete for jobs uh, to the playing fields to corporations having to compete with one another for market share uh, to governments battling one another for economic dominance all of it is provably destructive in one way or another and this multitude of influences can help explain why competition is so deeply ingrained within our culture and why it may seem like it's an inescapable part of human nature to compete of all the institutions uh, common across the globe, be they political, social, religious or national in origin, none has remained so thoroughly unquestioned and beyond even the most basic analysis or understanding by most people than the monetary system itself. Even as the system of monetary finance is displacing more than 6 million American homeowners and half the world's people are now classed as suffering through poverty, 1 billion starving, the system remains unscrutinized despite its global presence. What if instead of creating the perfect escape, we created a better reality? Have we forgotten what we are escaping from and that we have the ability to improve upon it? What if we consciously shaped our society to be healthier and more enjoyable? And as a result of these contemplations, here I am advocating a resource-based economic model. And it isn't that we can't see a path for maturation. It's rather the sickness that exists in this household we share, the water we swim in, the foundational values and beliefs that currently embody the whole of our society, our ideological parents, the zeitgeist itself. And that's why we're here. It's now an issue of growing up. And whether anyone likes it or not, they are in the zeitgeist movement one way or another. Thank you very much. <laughs>